Hello everybody, it's Beard Boy OG here, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. How is everybody's day doing? Because mine is just fantastic as we get to go and play here in the world once again. And today I have a project I've been wanting to do for quite a little bit, In that today is to come over here and build a storage, a medieval storage building. That is the plan today. This is gonna be torn down as this is not gonna be the main design anymore. It, it wasn't gonna be in the first place, but I was just testing stuff out. But we're gonna have what we need placed up here. Cause this, we've been needing to expand to for quite a while and I think we can do something really cool right here. So, we need to go get the supplies for that. Also, I got some updates for the channel, so that's going to be great. It's going to be updates that are going to let you know that there's more content coming, basically. So, I want to do some stuff to go get that ready. So, I'm going to go grab some wood. Then, we're going to go and see if we have some materials so we can make this just look as great as possible. Okay, so this is the outline I have for this build kinda so we're gonna have a great archway going in between both ways of this storage area and the goal is that we have multiple areas that we can go and check out so if this is the main way we'll have like let's say chess going here chess going here or chess going here I think that's gonna be better we have a little space in between them then we have more here more here and they just keep going up as we go and the goal for the roof is for it to just slope downwards on both sides I'm planning to use that there granite because I actually really like the look of granite I'm probably one of the few people and I think it's gonna look good in this build especially since we have this right next to it so and we're gonna do calcite for the most part on the outside walls calcite and if I need to go check to see what I have I also have a lot of blackstone so we have an extreme amount of blackstone so we could just make the walls blackstone we really have a lot so I should have brought my stone cutter with me let me go grab that with the power of editing magic Ooh. And if you enjoy the content on this channel, if you're enjoying the video, obviously you like me, so consider subscribing. We have a lot of great projects coming up, and I don't think you want to miss them. Like, we are going to be building stuff in the end, making floating islands. We have so much coming up. And with our goal of 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, I think we can hit that goal. All it takes is you pressing the red button, and it's free. So, let's try to do that. I would really appreciate it. And consider liking the video because liking always helps. Ah, ah! Power of editing magic. Look at that. So, as <laughs> editing magic, I messed. This is my third attempt and I have already used it. But we had all of that blackstone. I turned it into polished blackstone bricks. And we have the polished blackstone brick stairs. We're going to use the bricks. For the walls, we're going to outline this, maybe? No. I'm going to keep this away. So, the granite will be the roof, while this is like outlining the bottom and like accenting the tops. So, you know what time it is. Get your popcorn out. Get your headphones ready. Grab yourself a drink, because you know what time it is. Because it's time for Time Lapse. FM. Ah, that's a terrible popo impression. It's time lapse FM, people. It's building time. <laughs>
Okay, I am back from the time lapse FM spectac spectacle. That's not a word. But this is what we got. I was able to decorate it a little bit by adding some of these beams of wood everywhere. We add little accents like adding trap doors here, here, and here to help with the detail. We added some more black stone up there and here just so it just uh, meshes better with the look. Especially since we had it on bottom, I thought it was going to look really good. And I did this on both sides. We also added a second mini level, so we will find a way to get up there here in a sec. But we should be able to hide some more stuff up there. I'm really happy with how this looks, and I am started adding chests in here. The goal is to at least have uh, two, you know, rows up of two, three on each indiv individual one, and eventually expand them upward. So, I really need to go and fill this up, so I need to go get the wood and all that really quick, and whoa, wait a minute, did my, did my shoes just untie? Wait a minute, this is a video game. I don't have any shoes or shoelaces and... Whoa! <laughs> that apparently happened while I was looking at my shoes. But look at this. Look at how much nicer this looks. So we have a couple of pallet-like items. That's what I... These kind of look like pallets. And I have bigger pallets around. And as you notice with some of these, not this side, but this side we have a couple of loose pallets. And I really like it. We have so much storage now that it's unbelievable. We have at least one, what is this? one, two, three, four, five, six rows of at least double two double chests. Then we have some spare ones. So like here and here, in the middle rows, we have full double chests up to three. We have these in back, which is only rows of two. And then we have some of them where... Did I just... Wait. Okay, I thought I just threw something and I was about to freak out. But it... Basically, it's to make it look like this is like a ware... Uh, like an old school warehouse where you have a bunch of freight everywhere. And I think this turned out really well. So we have this medieval kind of looking theme. I think this is not too out of the question for house uh, warehouses would have worked way back in the fantasy land we have all these treasure chests this light fixture yeah I know it doesn't make sense but I just needed something to light up the middle so we didn't have mobs spawning now I'm gonna try to get up there so we're gonna probably have the route for up there be like right here so I'm gonna go grab birch we're going to turn this into some barrels. Not that one, though. Uh, ooh, uh oh. I just used the ones I wasn't supposed to use. All right, it's okay. We, we can use another we can use another item. Um, uh oh. Well, we already messed ourselves up, but it's fine. So that should be enough. So I always forget how to make these. Ooh, come on. There we go. Yeah, 54 is a, quite enough. I, I think 54 is j just plenty. So, we need to head up there, so we're gonna need to use you, but we need those for sticks. So what we'll do is how about we use blackstone? I think that could work. Or cobble deep sleep. That could also work. So we're just going to place it right here. Have enough to go through. Mm. How about here? This is going to be better. Okay, and let's get right under. Dig up to here. We're going to have to dig this one out as well. There we go. And here's the top level. Where we can just start randomly placing these all over the place as this is like just even extra storage than what we needed so this is like old school backstop freight if you've ever worked in resale and you've had an upstairs you know what backstock means 
And this is kind of what I'm trying to go for with the back stock. It's just having so much freight you don't know what to do with, you know, and you just put some upstairs. That's what this is trying to be. So I think this is enough for upstairs. This is going to hurt. Ow. And now it's time to make some stairs. And I think we can call this, at least for the outside of it, d that wasn't supposed to happen. Well, hmm. Looks like you are not surviving, tree. Okay, and there we go. We have it already set up here. I think I can do a little bit more designing right here. Yeah. There we go. Looks even better. So now we can just head up here if needed. So if we need any special storage or if it's just some useless item that we have too much of, even more than down there, we can just throw it up here. So we definitely have a lot of storage now, which I am quite happy with. This turned out to be a wonderful build to add up here. Now I just got to go connect it to the road and everything will be set. But I'm going to do that next episode. I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode. I really enjoyed this build. Because it started being, eh, it's not great. And then it turned out even better as I continued. It's the same thing that happened with the uh, house that we built. The one that's over here right next to the portal. That one right there, if you can see through the, the these bad boys, the bamboo. Uh, as more and more time you spend on a build, I think that's when it becomes beautiful and looks great. So like the more and more so instead of 30 minutes an hour and 30 minutes it gives you so much more time to really work on what you're doing and yes i know that's technically floating in the air but it it doesn't look like it when you're not zooming in <laughs> not at all but if you guys enjoyed today oh, if you guys enjoyed today's episode i would really hope you consider if you guys consider subscribing we're on the path to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I think we can really hit that goal. So just consider pressing that button down below because I think we can really hit that goal. Consider liking the video because liking always helps. And comment down below storage because we have a lot of it. I'm Beard Boy OG, and I'll see you in tomorrow or tomorrow's. There's not gonna be a video tomorrow. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.